We're back with the JBL Quantum Grand Slam. And we've seen, oh, Jake, I feel like I feel like we've seen it all. We've we've seen absolute domination of score lines. We've seen close matches. We've seen game fives. We've seen OT. We're only two series in. Yeah, no, it's been fun. I'm telling you, man, when the when the bubble scene comes out to play, it's it's exciting, but we got some RLCS names coming up. Tonio Negative Sour. This could uh... <laughs> finally some names that you recognize. Though. I recognize these people. <laughs> Off you go, Jake. Talk about the teams. Talk us through it. Well, let me get my coin. Negatives are a, a two's main. I uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I yeah no. Ne Negative's been that like a like an underdog kind of kind of player where he's never really the star of any of the teams he's been on but it always seems to, to elevate them to uh to good heights yeah, he's always that player that just seems to sneak into to top eight time and time again has been doing it since rlc season x and still continues to and you know negatives always talked about you know wanting that longevity roster wanting you know that team that's going to stick it out and and you know stay together over off seasons and really work to grind to those better placings and you know might be th this might be the team that they're looking for sour has made plenty of those top eights tonio as well so now you know these three have come together we're, we're heading into that invited team territory as well so tiki Tucker was one of those teams that was invited uh into this tournament advanced warfare they've had to crawl their way through the close balls and still looking to see if they can prove themselves up against this team yeah, th this is going to be tough. Uh, th this is certainly a, a different level. Uh, and yeah, it, it, it's a testing ground for advanced warfare. Can they can they learn some of the lessons from last game? It, it just felt like they weren't pressuring fast enough, really bringing it to the other team, like like the underdogs generally have to do if they want to take a take a win off uh, bigger names. Yeah, if you're having trouble against defenses of, you know, uh, of Daisu, it's going to be very similar when you're going up against the defense of negative. You know, usually that player that... You know, likes to really be counter-attack heavy and is happy to just constantly rotate, be very fundamental on the defensive end. So, you know, they might have to start getting a little bit creative on their ways that they can open the net. I know they have the capabilities of those highly mechanical plays, but maybe even start to get nitty gritty, start to get a few demos under the way, start to really get into mm. the minds of this team. Because yeah. that, that's what I feel like bubble teams really find success is when they just come out with full confidence full sentimentality and just out physical the other team yeah you gotta get under their skin you know i i mean these these uh established players tend to have like their general meta they they know what they're expecting from all the the teams they play against so if you come out as a real wild card throw that team off their off their prep what they're not used to that that's how you take games and yeah, I'm just, I'm worried for Advanced Warfare. It feels like they don't have that oomph you need to really get those upsets. Yeah, we saw it We saw it a few times in that previous series, but will they be able to learn from it? Will they be able to grow from it in order to take down Tiki Taka here as we head into game one, series three of the day? Jake, well, what, are you, what are your thoughts? Do, do Advanced Warfare, do they have what it takes? Can they try and find out what's needed? I, I, I'm feeling like a downer here. I actually think this is going to be very one-sided and I am going to be cheering for advanced warfare with every goal, <laughs> but I would love, to, I would love to be proven wrong, man. I, I mean, but yeah, it's going to be tough. Tikitaka, they're, they're a very solid team, uh, but maybe again, this is the off season that there, there's some, you know, new synergies going on here. Maybe some things aren't going to click and advanced warfare can take advantage of that. I was doing a little bit of research in the break advanced warfare. They crawled themselves into the lower bracket and qualified via that way in order to make their, you know, their names known and start their run here. Can they take it against the invited team? We'll have to find out as we're underway here. Best of five in the JBL at Quantum Grand Slam. And that is a great momentous start there for the side of advanced warfare. You want to go quick. You want to make sure that you are playing strong off the get-go, using the momentum of already played a series against the team, having to try and warm up. <laughs> Tonio has changed his name to Tonio <laughs> with a Y. I, I rate it. That's pretty sick. <laughs> it's, um, actually, it's actually been like that a few weeks. So I've noticed. <laughs> name, I rate name it. change. Rebrand. Ton, Tonio. Tonio. Yeah, no, it reminds me of a Ponyo Japanese movie. <laughs> but um, yeah, either way, I mean, Tonio has been, been on the up and up. CJ's favorite player, but I, I think he backed his horse a little too soon. I, I think Tonio is only going to be getting better, but not quite as quickly as CJ had in mind. 
He backed his horse when he was on his previous team, when he was on that Dire... You know, he was... Actually, I forget that team he was on originally. Then he went to the Dire Wolves, and then he went over to Dumb Luck and played alongside Myth and Baz, so... He's been yeah, maybe that he's he's been everywhere in just a few se in just one season it seems so we'll have to see if he has what it takes to try and maybe find that stability of a roster in negative and sour here as they look to make a, I, I believe their debut in the group stage tournament here as they didn't have to play their way through the quals good early start here from Tony onto the backboard and this is going to be interesting just to see how Advanced Warfare look to approach this series. Yeah, we can see both teams starting out pretty slow, honestly. There's a demo you are talking about. If that was on target, it would have been a goal. It doesn't matter. The follow-up's there, and it's advanced warfare to open the scoring for the series. That's what you want to see. They're a defensive team. They like to just stay consistent, fundamental rotations. So getting that demo, shaking things up on the defensive end is going to be a, a sure way to find yourself in the lead here, as it does already. Now kick off heavy win. In favor of Matt, goes for the solo play, reset, pass one, goes for the double, but negative there to take it away. I'm already a little worried for Tikataka, honestly. Um, maybe not in this series, but in terms of play style, they're just, they're looking a bit relaxed, you know? Like, they're just not really trying to, like, force anything. They've been kind of controlling the game, but not getting any goals out of it, and th those styles don't tend to work in OCU. Yeah, I think they should come out with a bit more confidence, you know? They're the... They're the names on this field. They're the team that got invited to come play here. You think they would come out with a little bit of, yeah, like we usually play this kind of play style, but we can afford to just go pedal to the metal and just outpace this team. Right, they're really coming out with a lax kind of play style. Yeah, no, it, it's interesting. It's uh, it's not what I was expecting, and I think it gives Advanced Warfare plenty of chances. <laughs> But there we go, there's some speed, and it, it certainly caught everyone by surprise just how quickly it came out of it. Yeah, Negative, not messing around there, finds the top corner, post, post, out, saves, and then Tonio gets the dunk. Yeah, uh, Negative's always been one of those players, I feel, that is just the fastest in the midfield. It's something to do with his rotations, I haven't quite got the calculations on it yet, but when it comes to that midfield presence, Negative is always going to outpace defenders to the ball. And Tonio going to get the flip reset. Gets that little scoop underneath to help carry it across the line. I mean, this is the skill the invited teams have. They have those flip resets, those mechanics. I mean, we saw it from Akame earlier, but Tonio, he's the one to be watching if you want to see plays like that. Plenty of play. I'm looking at Sour as well. Sour's had a few pop-off moments. But this could be the one that helps Tonio really... Oh no. I was gonna, yeah, really shine through here, but there's no real place to shine when you're just getting an open net nearly gifted to you off the kickoff there. Oh, that's that's tough. I think that was Matt flying past the ball. He flew past too quickly for me to see, honestly. That was that was tough to watch. Just like that, two goal lead already, two minutes to go. It's looking in favor of Tiki Taka, and we'll have to see if Advanced Warfare can find something. That's a good play off the backboard, not choosing to put it on net. Just trying to bait out that save, and it works well for Sauer. Everyone getting involved here for Tiki Taka. And you can see Matt just giving him way too much space. Again, this is what I was worried about. You, you really have to be in their face, shutting down the time, if you want to win a series as that underdog team. And you say giving space, and it seems to correlate with almost giving them respect, which is what a lot of players seem to do when they verse. You know, names they know, names that you've seen on the big stage before, you tend to give these players a lot of respect and that can, you know, lead to slow challenges, lead to, you know, almost being too scared to challenge in some aspects where that's not really what you really want to see from Advanced Warfare. You want to see that pedal to the metal. You want to see playing with confidence and playing at the speed. You know that they can. Sawa ends up getting a save there. Yeah, no, it's really common even at the highest level when you when you have a player that's like super mechanical, like a first killer. It's like just everyone respects him so much that they then give him more space than your average player, which he can then use to score. So it happens at the highest level, and yeah, it happens when these bubble teams tend to play against these more established teams as well. And it's it's not, it's understandable and it makes sense, but yeah, it's not the winning formula. It took a while for Advanced Warfare to even start challenging uh, Fiasco in the previous series. So maybe game two, that's when we'll start to see them come out and look to do a lot more of these uh, challenges on the rotate back, making sure that they're always staying in the play. They're not just, you know, expressing on the other side of the field. They're staying in the play, 
and really able to challenge at any moment, that's when you that they were kind of shutting down their, uh, at least the Kame solo play ability. So we'll see if they can implement that back into this game because game one has been a dominating display here for Tiki Zaka. And we'll see if they can you know, carry this through or if Advanced Warfare have some form of way to just you know, stay back in this, get themselves some momentum. Well, they got the first goal and they were really holding on when Tiki Taka were playing that more chill style as well. So they had their chances. Matt, I'm not loving these like <laughs> driving up the back wall to, to clear kind of thing. Again, it's just way too much time. It's a little too slow and you, you've really got to get in their face. I really, really want to see that in game two. Well, we'll have to see if they, they can you know, take this time to try and figure out exactly what they need to do because I, I always like physicality. I, I think teams that are underdogs, teams that are going into it like just being physical, really, you know, throwing off a, a way that a team loves to play and making them have to make adaptions on the fly, you know, putting them into awkward spaces. That's when it's not only going to give you more time on the ball, but it's going to, you know, maybe just clear up that net a little bit. Um, there's a few other things that they can try and do. We'll see if they can, you know, figure out the, the secret formula they need to, to help turn things away in game number two. Yeah. Now we'll see. I, I mean, Tikitaka has got to be feeling confident, though. I mean, everything kind of worked as expected, except for letting in that first goal. That was a little sloppy for their standards. And again, if Advanced Warfare can start out strong like that again, and maybe focus more on holding the lead, they could. Uh, it could be a chance for them in this series. Yeah, and it seems on the other end, Tikitaka have warmed up a little bit. They, they were playing slow at the start. They have picked up that pace a little bit, and they're just more looking for these quick out paces in the midfield or just a pinch that's going to oh, go no. into the oh, net no. off, the, off the top corner of the field. It Rock just team. finds its way in. These are the kind of goals you want to see Advanced Warfare getting, you know? Just like the crazy yeah. pinch that somehow goes all the way in. But no, it's it's Tonio and it's off the back of good pressure. I mean, I, I don't think Advanced Warfare were expecting that challenge so high up the wall. And a good kickoff there for Advanced Warfare. Unfortunately, oh, a demo a gives possession. Whoa. Although it's not the first one, it's not the second one either. An advanced warfare walk away untouched from that attack. Yeah, fortunate though. Negative kind of shot it right into the keeper there. That was a great play off the kickoff. But now here's the chance on the other side. ARJ too slow. Great idea though from the team. I like this slow play in the corner, really trying to bait out a defender to have to come try and make some form of attack. Doesn't work on that attempt, but they've got good pressure here. That's an awkward touch. Passes over to Wolf Tick. They've got time in the midfield. Matt takes it away. All three players are there, but it finds its way into the back of the net. That's what they need. Advanced Warfare tie it up. Yeah, the pressure gets the better of them. And Matt, I mean, he, he has been the star player in offense, I feel. Really tricky. Nice solo play coming out of him. And yeah, it's looking good. Just a minute gone throughout the game here and already tie a game. It's what you like to see this time. Advanced Warfare didn't get that first goal but really able to bring that one back the the proven that it's possible that one goes long matt's going to be the last defender here negative is trying to seek out where this ball is going to go matt's going to take it the other way around beats out two defenders this is the time you want to see open ARJ. in the midfield off the backboard can they get yeah. the lead down that is a oh. tough read but arj does it and puts it away beautifully done and yeah it's just way too overconfident coming out ticket leaves this counterattack opportunity and it's beautifully done. What a read. That is a tough waterfall read there and ARJ makes it look easy. That's how they get the lead here in game two. Coming out, firing exactly how we wanted to, but that left them a little bit awkward off the kickoff and now pressure straight back on them. They're not out of the woods just yet. Matt has to try and take care of this ball and give their team time to even spawn back onto the field and get some boost. Oh, look, they're... That's brought some life into this team. They're connecting more, they're passing, and again, they've actually got the lead in this game. Can we see them hold on to it? That can be, you know, all it takes is to just get little momentum, build that confidence. You know, one player hits a great shot and the whole team gets around him and builds that energy on the Discord call. And that's just gonna, you know, really show through in the gameplay as well. We'll see if they can, you know, carry that momentum continuously throughout the series. Tiki Taka's barely had any of the ball. It has been all advanced warfare, although they're starting to relax a bit too much. Again, I want to see them staying aggressive and cutting out this space just like that. Double commit. I don't care. This is looking good. Shut down 
these opportunities for Timmy Tucker. Matt now with plenty of boost, goes high, beats out one off the ceiling, Here reset, tries to get the fleet. Wolfdick's just gonna come through and demo everyone. And not even Matt's the one to put it away. ARJ comes through as well. That is a great play from the side of Advanced Warfare. <laughs> and now they have a two goal lead. Yeah, we'll take MVP, man. That wasn't an aggressive <laughs> demo, but it works out. Matt, too tricky from the ceiling as well. And ARJ getting his second goal now. Wolfdick's done that a few times now where it hasn't really been involved in the play, but just knows that, okay, I'm just going to send for the net here. Has walked away with the demo. And that has led to a goal, and now Wolfdick, that's going to lead to a goal his way. Three goal. Jay, what's happening today with these turnarounds? I don't know, man. I actually don't know. Tiki Taka, again, they're, they're just like a bit too relaxed as a team, it feels like. They're like sitting back, not really utilizing their speed. And if you don't utilize that, you can't utilize your mechanics. It, they're really not bringing the best out of themselves, I feel. Is it coming into this game thinking, you know, you're the favorites and just having that kind of mentality you know, surrounded oh. the way that you're playing. They had a good opportunity there, but still couldn't walk away with a goal. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like some some teams like consciously do that, try and play like safer against teams they feel like they should beat. But yeah, I feel like it's always a mistake, honestly. You've got to play quick in Rocket League to really bring out your best. Play how you would against the top teams and you know, maybe try and play up to your opponents as well. Matt here trying to get something going, gets a great touch. Sal is already there. They have to get going soon if they want to take game two. That's a good demo, but first touch there from Sal is going to make it awkward to put out into the midfield. Tonio has to take it from here. Had a few opportunities, but it seems like just one play after the other is going. There's no real pass plays or just team effort here happening for the side of Tiki Taka. Yeah, no, it's, it's just looking real flat. I don't know what's been happening. They're almost going to get oh. scored on again. And now, here's a counter-attack opportunity, but look at ARJ. The confidence coming out of Advanced Warfare is something else with this big lead. That's what you want to see. Just doesn't matter you're in a 1v1. There's you know, the confidence to just send the ball early, stop the attack before it even gets to a mount. That's what's working well for them here. Just under a minute to go here. And Tiki Taka just haven't found an answer for Advanced Warfare in this series. Oh, in this game, sorry. Yeah, no, Tiki Taka has been completely shut out. It's it's surprising, and you can see I'm getting demoed, getting thrown around. This has been all advanced warfare. They took time, you know, to warm up to their previous series against Fiasco. They, they almost took game number two, but they looked a lot better. So maybe game twos are just their thing. It takes them a while to kind of understand how they need to play against their opponents. Because now they're just playing with confidence. They're flip resetting at midfield. They're doing whatever they want with the ball. No one can stop them. This is just a whole different team than what we've seen from them today. Yeah, and, and we said that the 3-0 last series was a little rough. So it certainly felt like they played a bit better than to deserve that. And now they're getting a win on the board in, in this uh, tournament. So great play from them. And we'll see if they can keep it up for the rest of the series. The longer this goes on, it just feels like the better they're going to do. If Tiki Taka want to try and return, they've got to shut them down now. They've got to shut them down here in this game number three. Because that was just all advanced warfare. Nothing really looked threatening other than maybe one or two opportunities from Tiki Taka. Advanced warfare, they're just playing with confidence on the defensive end, turning it into quick counterattacks. And i got to say, Wolf is going to continue this physical play of getting demos that it's only looking up there for advanced warfare. Yeah, that's exactly what we talked about. They needed something to kind of get Tiki Tucker out of their comfort zone. And yeah, Wolfdick with the demos clearly has ARJ as well, stepping up in a big way in offense mechanically. You can see that confidence flowing through the whole team now. So uh, yeah, every, everything's going Advanced Warfare's way and we'll see if they can keep it up in this game three. Well, when everything's going one team's way today, Jake, what we've noticed is it quickly goes the other team's <laughs> way in the previous game. True. So oh, we'll so have true. to see if Tiki Saga can try and bring it back. If Advanced Warfare can maintain this momentum going into game three and not give an ounce of an opportunity here for Tiki Taka, because I feel like if you give them an inch, they're going to take it, they're going to run with it, and they're going to find themselves back in the lead. Great kickoff already to put pressure on the blue side. Mm. Yeah. Already starting out strong again. Looks exactly like game two. The air dribble still. That looks so confident. Even back passing to their teammates. This is what we want to see. The astral pinch almost coming through as well. Pulling out every mechanic in the book. As good.
bump out there. Sal is actually going for the bump on Matt. Could have found its way into the net. Negative has to keep this alive, but now there's a lot of space in the midfield due to that demo. They're not able to do too much with it. It ends up going back in the hands of Tiki Taka. Opportunity there for Tonio. Two players in net to get that stop. And right now, they are just cemented on the defensive end. They're happy. All three players in net until they're finally able to get it clear. Yeah, Tiki Taka are playing way better in the opening of this game, though. They're playing so much faster. They're actually winning the races to the ball. And it looks like they're playing with a purpose now. They're not just going to sit back and wait for things to happen. They're going to force oh, it. No. Oh, no. Oh. Wrong net, Tonio. <laughs> that was That was tragic. Tonio gets the soft, smallest touch on it, and they can't catch up. Oh, that's, that's, that's brutal. It, it's pain. You, you see it happen. You're just wanting to try and, and, you know, catch the ball, you know, do the right thing, keep the ball nice and close, and it ends up going Advanced Warfare's way, but... They're not going to be complaining yet again. They find themselves in the lead. It worked well for them last game. Can they hold it out here? Yeah. No, it's looking good for now. But still, certainly Tikitaka controlling the pressure in this game. Very silly way to concede, but doesn't seem like it's gotten the better of them just yet. Sao, though, trying to right that wrong. Ooh. Goes for the bump. Sao's tried that a few times here, you know, opting to go for the, the bump play. As Wolfdick sends it high into the midfield, beats out Sauer. That looked dangerous for a second. But the speed right now from Advanced Warfare, they are just outpacing the veterans in Tiki Taka. They're not able to get a shot on yet. That's an awkward rotation into net. Uh, Tonio's going to punish you. Falls that apart. front post rotation, Jake. Yeah, it was looking good, but ARJ stuck under the ball. Matt a little too slow back, and finally the pace, the amped up pressure, it gets that goal, and it's well deserved. Tiki Taka have been played really well this game three. It was a hard touch there. Tried to, you know, got the touch into the corner, tried to land properly, but couldn't quite. Just like that, we got a tight game. Matt, plenty of time here. Chooses to go nice and high. Sauer's going to outpace off the ceiling. Can't quite get the follow-up. And no, ARJ's just passed it low, and Sauer's put it away. Oh, offense, the defense, sorry, is crumbling right now for Advanced Warfare. I I don't know. I, I'm telling you, I don't think Sauer would have been there in the last two games. It really feels like Tiki Taka have stepped up and now they're forcing these mistakes out of Advanced Warfare. They're just putting that pressure on. They're letting their presence known. They're letting their presence be known, sorry, on the defensive side. Sauer trying to get something happening now. Wolfdick does get a good 50. Might be able to beat Tonio back. Maybe look at a pinch and no. Just couldn't get that touch needed. Tonio now looking to send it the other way. Trying to build up some form of offense here. Sauer with a good pace. Negative Ooh, on the ball. A good chance. Might be a demo opportunity. I thought Tonio might have gone for it. Instead, overcommits and it's gone the other way. Wolfdick with the goal. And by good chance, of course I meant for advanced warfare. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> negative just completely whiffing that ball. And no one home at all for Tiki Taka. That is, that is sloppy. I'm always the person on the field that mentions the time right now is 2-2. Two, two, it's, it's backwards and forwards. 2-2, 3-2, 2, two, three, two, two. <laughs> I, I always like looking at the goals in the score. Anyway, we're underway back again. ARJ with a great shot Ooh. off the rip of kickoff. Tonio goes long now and just woofed it to B. Two plays on it. No, that's a double commit. Can they turn into a quick counterattack? Sauer keeps it out of harm's way just for now as the team looks to regroup after that attempt. Yeah, they're still looking confident, but... Maybe airing on the side of overconfident now. It feels like in the offense, they're not playing as methodically as maybe they have to. So struggling to find a balance, it seems, is Tiki Taka. Hey, RJ, we've seen a few glimpses out of him in this series so far. See if he can maybe be that player to watch out for, get that securing goal. Wolfdick is last. Sauer has gone for a demo time and time again, just hasn't been able to make contact. That would have led to great opportunities. As Tonio now off the off the ceiling into the ground. Matt trying to keep it alive. To uh, Wolfdick, sorry, going to take it from here. The touches from both teams just a little bit off. Maybe a bit of pressure settling into the lobby here as both teams in one all looking to take game number three. Mm -hmm. Matt's going to get a chance here. Very Everyone very sat back on Tiki Taka. Although they get the counter-attack, but still throwing themselves at it. They're, they're really opening so, themselves up for this oh, counter-attack. What a bump from Sauer, oh. but it's not enough. I've been waiting for that bump. He's gone for it a few times there. 
That could have been the Ooh. one that made its way through, but that's a good bump coming out from Tonio. Sal puts it away, and Tiki Taka find themselves with the lead. Just under a minute to go here. And a team like this, they're going to be favorites to help hold on to it. Yeah, very tricky from Tonio, and Sal really stepping up in this game three. He's been super aggressive, and it's paying off. That's just what you needed from this team. It's what you said was lacking, was just the aggression and there off kickoff. Sal is going to get another one. Two goal lead. Things are turning around yet again. As we said, we can't have, you know, one team winning two games in a row. It's got to be back and <laughs> forth today. It does, doesn't it? Tiki Taka, I mean, yeah, they started out very slow, but it feels like they're, they're starting to find their groove and prove why they were an invited team in this tournament. Matt. Plenty of boost here, plenty of time still to try and make a change. Has to try and get this dunk. Sal with a good read, Tonio with a good beat. That's left one player yet again. Antonio's just gonna take out Woofdick. And Negative puts it away. They're having to send, they're having to go for these plays. Because it is the final moments they need a goal, but time and time again, Woofdick just seems to be stranded on an island on defense. Yeah, nah, not, nothing you can do there. 1v2, getting demoed as well, but this game is starting to run away from them. 40 seconds left, they're gonna have to start looking forward to game four. And I, I just wanna see them continue this confident, fast play. It's really been working out, but Tiki Taka, they stepped up as well. They're looking confident, and yeah, that, that star power is starting to show. Yeah, just that veteran C, they've been in this situation, all three members, time and time again as Wolfdick now trying to get something happening off the backboard. Matt's actually nice and quick to that one off target. Sauer does play it aside, and that's going to be a win, putting Tiki Taka on match point to take this series. Advanced Warfare, they've had glimpses, they've shown signs of life. But can they bring it back? Can they go back to that form that helped them win game two, that we've seen the potential in this roster? But can they show it up when it matters? Yeah, we'll have to see. Either way, close series. I, I really like how Sauer stepped up. Sauer was certainly the MVP there. Uh, getting a hat trick for himself, but yeah, more, more than just the goals, just that aggressive play, playing very far forward, uh, constantly causing problems for the Advanced Warfare uh, team. Yeah, and not too many demos in terms of stats, but you could tell Sal was going for a lot of them, was trying to, you know, get those bumps. And when Sal started finally making contact with the other players, that's when they started to get a few goals. So definitely something to look out for if you're Advanced Warfare now, maybe even in the back of your mind thinking, is Sal on me? Is Sal going to demo me while I'm on the ball? <laughs> get a bit nervous, you know, making uh, Advanced Warfare start to even rush their play. Yeah, and, and it'll make them think twice about overcommitting, you know, leaving... Wolf tick back or leaving any of their teammates back because yeah those 2v1s once the demos come in are virtually impossible. Game at number four underway here we'll have to Ooh. see if Advanced Warfare can bring it back. ARJ I think is that player that I'm looking at has been a key striker as a double commit coming out there might buy a little bit of time if Tonio can get this mid ARJ has gone past it that's on target Wolf tick able to Brush that aside. ARJ in the 1v1 situation here, hoping to try and pull it off. No, can't quite get the touch needed. And the ball sent the other way. Yeah, all the way to the other side. It's a weak touch. Now, advanced warfare. Trying to go for a counter attack, but not really having enough numbers forward. Shot. Although out of nowhere, ARJ almost top bins. What a chance. It's a tough shot. There's little room for error, but those are the moments that are going to help carry your team over the line at the end of a series. A missed opportunity there, and it might turn into one the other way. Negative gets the read, double touchdown, finds the angle. Negative answers first here. Yeah, it's a beautiful angle, sets it up himself off the backboard, gets nice and high to make sure that goes down. And showing his skill, that was perfect. Great touch there, and we talk about momentum, we talk about getting your team psyched up. Moments like that can spark that side of momentum. There is a shot oh, coming out from no. Matt there. Almost answers back. Oh, ARJ, no. no. Faked out from Tonio. Opportunities missed there. Mm. ARJ's been getting faked all day, honestly. He needs to learn how to disrespect his opponents. I mean... Just, just some... have no faith. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they'll miss, man, and you'll, you'll get some easy goals. Well, they've stayed on attack here for quite a while. They've... Maintain midfield pressure up until now. Sauer able to get it clear, and that's 
minimal boost here for the side of Advanced Warfare. This is the time to get something going. 50 down. Negative is just going to find the angle off the ceiling. Negative doing it all. Well, it was sour last game. Now it seems to be Negative stepping forward, being that nuisance, playing so fast and being incredibly clinical with his chances. And that, uh, I feel like that's just taken a breath of air out of Advanced Warfare. You know, you've you had such a good game in the last two games. And now, yet again, you find yourself two goals down, having to not only try and bring this one back, but you've still got a game to go. Can they continue this run? Can they try and bring it back? Or is this just going to be where Tiki Taka run away with it? They've had a few opportunities if they can continue to try and get something going. But right now, the defense is too strong. Tonio now turning defense in the quick offense. Couldn't get the touch. And Sauer to meet the ball in the midfield. Mm. Yeah, no, back and forth at the moment. But 2-0. Advanced Warfare are going to need a goal soon to keep their, their chances alive. But already it's going back the other side. Wolftick back in time. But this pressure is going to continue. Although maybe not. The big miss... In the midfield, it's pushed forward, and now Advanced Warfare going to get their chance. Ooh. They're going to score. Matt sneaks it in. So that was perfect. Just Tonio left on an island there, and all three players still sticking with that play. They know that they've just got to get something early. they got to get a goal on the board and help them make this comeback here, and that's exactly what they needed. Yeah, no, that was awesome. They should be very, very proud of themselves getting that, that comeback started because now two minutes left, only a single goal needed and uh pressure's on Tikitaka to hold the lead although it's a great <laughs> shot but what a save coming out of Wolftik it was a shot and save by Wolftik I believe as ARJ now in the midfield continues this play Sauer to take it away minimal boost to work with goes for the 50 instead but ARJ beats out multiple defenders that's a touch in field negative too quick Tonio might turn into a counter attack oh, no boost. boost to work with and now Wolftik looking to send it the other way trying to get something over this Tiki Taka roster, but just no boost to work with in the midfield. Yeah, no, it's looking tough. LJ, what a turn, sets himself up. He's got not enough boost though to get it over everyone, but the attack continues. Now it's Matt's chance. Doesn't fake out Tonio. Tonio gets the charge. And they might turn into a quick counter attack. Negative, trying to put something on target. The demo comes out sour to keep it alive. They're getting these long clears, but it's just being met in the midfield. That's a good beat out there from Tonio. Constant rotation on offense here, one after the other. They're not giving any space to breathe here for Advanced Warfare until they're finally able to get a clear trying to bring this back. But by the time they do, they've just got no boost to work with. They find themselves back on defense trying to just scrounge any type of clear that they can to just maintain pressure in the offensive end. Yeah, they're running out of time. 45 seconds. Advanced Warfare need a goal. Wolftick. Oh, it's not the best clear. Sodio makes him pay. And it's a two-goal lead for Tiki Taka. Advanced Warfare needed a goal to bring it back. And Tiki Taka needed a goal to help secure this victory. There is time on the board. But this has to be a comeback that starts quickly. It could be on the kickoff here. It's a stalemate. Sauer gets the win. Now plenty of time in the midfield, but Negative's going to take it away. That's a midfield pass. Tony with the shot, shoots it straight at Wolftick, waiting in net. But all the while this is going on, time is winding out here for Advanced Warfare in the series. Oh, and they're just on the back foot. Tony middle, oh, it's just oh, our, oh. these miraculous saves, one after the other, but they don't need saves. They need goals. Ten seconds left, and they're still in their half. Oh, these saves would be so crucial if it was just a tie game or anything, but they have not seen the blue oh. side of the field in the whole last 40 seconds of that game. And just like that, Tiki Tucker with that goal secure this victory. They're showing why they were invited. They're showing why they're here to stay. Advanced Warfare. The last second just going to be a formality, but Advanced Warfare yet to find themselves with a win. Tiki Taka go through with their first win of the group stage. What a very nice showing from them here. Yeah, I, I mean, especially a great recovery because, yeah, not, not super impressive in those first two games, but those last two games, everything seemed to come together. They got the pace, they got their mechanics back, and they, they showed why they were invited. So, yeah, good signs moving forward for this roster.
They were very slow, you're right, that game number one, it took them a while to kind of remember, hey, we're, you know, we're the invited team, we're the ones that are gonna, that are supposed to be showing up here, but did, did very well there. Now we got two new teams coming up on stream next, Food and Eat versus Last Minute, we'll be here shortly on stream, don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. 